The hardest thing about leaning your hat on being an intellectual is discovering the best way to monetize your thoughts while preserving your thirst for knowledge. In the pursuit of success and comfort, it's easy to become bogged down in the nuances of the day-to-day -day operational demands. My desire to become an agent of change in my community is leading me down an unconventional road toward one of silent activism. After growing up in a somewhat restricted confines of Birmingham, Alabama, at least culturally, I began to gain a view of the world through a more multicultural view at the University of Florida. It was here when I first developed my confidence as a person capable of an advanced level of independent and original thought. Although I began as an engineering major, I quickly realized my interest grew beyond just math and science and I switched to economics as my major. I am ready to carve out my niche and become a master in my field. There are five strategies highlighted in the text. The primal inclination strategy. The difficulty in carrying out this strategy is the need to block out all distractions and focus on finding and developing your own unique path in life. As Green states in the text, it requires a good deal of planning and strategizing to do it properly since so many obstacles will present themselves. The Darwinian strategy. This strategy utilizes the uniqueness of each individual to encourage them to find a space of their own to learn, grow, and develop their mastery. The Rebellion strategy. A false path in life is generally somewhat, something we are attracted to for the wrong reasons, money, fame, attention, and so on. Living in a society where so much other focus is on attaining more and more material wealth, it is extremely difficult to avoid the false path in terms of choosing a career because of financial reasons. The adaptation strategy. Stagnation in today's work environment will leave you left behind. Things are constantly changing and in order to keep up, you must be willing to adapt and modify your approach to fit your specific situation. Relying on the way things were done in the past will not work forever. The life of death strategy. Waking up one day and realizing you are not satisfied with your life decisions can be like missing your turn on a busy interstate during rush hour traffic. Maneuvering back towards your intended destination, in this case life destiny, is possible, however extremely difficult it may be. For me, the primal inclination strategy acts like a homing beacon guiding you back home to your roots. As Green states, in order to master a field, you must love the subject and feel a profound connection to it. The turning point for me is when I switched majors in college. Even though I made the dean's list in the College of Engineering my first two semesters, I felt really discontent with the limited variety of subject matter offered by my degree program. I am not quite sure what led me to choose economics, but once I began learning more about the subject and the possibilities of utilizing analytical tools to measure explain and attempt to solve social inequalities, I knew I had made the right decision. My dream career path involves creating a foundation to support nonprofits designed to help minority communities. By conducting unique research based around my observations of conditions in minority communities, I aim to increase the awareness of different issues and help offer unique and lasting solutions. Two goals I can achieve in the next three weeks are to contact my past economics professor and mentor Dr. Sharp to gather some, some expert advice on the best way to proceed. Second, I can begin outlining the first major issue I want to address. Thank you.